What is up my legends, it's Scion, we are back and we had to do it. So this video pretty much is what you guys are used to um, when I do these particular videos. And it's pretty much how to start strong and and this game is a little bit different because this game is more about the arcs than it is about the characters. It doesn't really matter what character you have. You can do it like basically well with any character in this game. It just depends on how well that you build them. Now we're gonna go in right here and we're gonna look at my Melza because Melza is just my favorite. Um, this this better tanks at this game It's just I like her look. I had I like the fact that she has a freaking Gundam, and like it's just good. So essentially, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you are building in your character according to how you want to use them. So I want Melza to basically do her thing with her attack, which is what we're doing right now. And I want her to actually do her thing a little bit with her Glimmer Sword, which we got to over here. And I want her to have her light attribute on her attack for extra damage, which makes her a good DPS plus tank, which allows me to come over here and get these, which I didn't even know I had that. So we're gonna knock it out right now. Which gets me to my next thing, um, patience. And you see I'm already, already um, about to get that. So what I'm gonna do is I need to go to wherever I can um, acquire it which is a part of how you get stronger in this game you need to pay attention to where you need to be farming it i need crystalline fragments which pretty much drop from a number of places as you can see right here and then as long as you have acquired these particular areas you can go there literally and just hit go and you'll go straight there um, but i need green crystallite so these particular areas right here as long as you remember where it's at you can go there and farm them it's also easier and faster to go to areas where you have completed already that you could <coughs> excuse me that you could three star and kill fast and i'm going to explain that in a bit but we needed to go over here and get this um so i would need the green crystal right which is going to tell me where to do that as you can see now a lot of times you probably didn't even get the drops from those particular areas it means you have to farm them a lot over that particular course of time but just keep that in mind that just because you didn't get it like you know you probably have to keep fighting and eventually it'll drop for you which is kind of a little bit rng but it just kind of like is what it is when it comes to that so again as you guys can see this is kind of what i have her built on right now she has good defense also your arcs so i basically have used the gate arc with her actually you know what? let me go back in like in real quick with you guys let me see um and her skill set you see i have speed as a set right now because that's what she um i think that's what she's learning or she already learned it but i went and got uh defense up and guard for her because she's going to be a tank defense up of course gives her more defense guard makes her have a chance to actually block more and i learned that come on art this game just is so much better and landscaped. Like, don't, nothing else but landscape, y'all. Don't, just don't even bother with anything else. Um, all right, uh, let's see here. Where is it? It's the gate. The gate of Beganda. All right, so as you can see right here, arc level one pretty much allows you to get this gate. So if I level this up, which I will do because I need to actually do that, pushes it up to 140 right now it requires 6100 um souls we're gonna do that because i do want protection as you can see um physical damage inflicted on a single ally 20 percent so we're gonna do that because this is literally four which unlocks protection this is literally for her now the thing is about about doing that is now it's going to cost 140 souls to actually level so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you don't go too ham with this type of stuff because the higher it gets the more it's going to cost i'm fine with 140 140 ain't nothing right now in this part of the game so it, it, it's kind of whatever just to have it 
at level two because I need that. And I actually want to put that on my two melee characters because they're going to be running around doing their thing for the most part. Now you're going to notice that. They won't do that. Okay, see, so now I have her basically learning attack up, which gives her a passive of extra 2% on her string. And then later on, we can try to get patience. I'm not really worried about that too much right now, which kind of increases her stuff. So as she gets closer to death, she gets even more tanky and more defensive. And that's kind of how you want to build your tank character. If that's what you want to do and have a tank character, you want to get all the tank type of passives. And there's more stuff that actually has things like that. Uh, let's see if we can actually find them real quick. You know, critical up, of course, for DPS. All right, so we have attack up, up. Oh, I have a shiny. Where's the shiny? Shiny, the shiny pretty much, you know, gives you a free item. I thought I got all of those, but apparently I did not. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Red Crystal Eye is definitely good because that is attack and helps out. Now you see this is Burning Strike right here. Burning Strike attacks fire effective against plant enemies. So you definitely want to think about that. Like you can even just start learning stuff just to have it in the future. If there's a really hard plant board that you want to take on. Um, see, I already have guard right here for this. And you see how long it takes to actually do that. But right here. When guard is equipped, chance slightly increases on um, vigilance. So putting vigilance on on top of all that, then you can go to steel guard when guard is equipped damage while guarding is reduced. Ridiculous. Allows equipped in armor. Again, ridiculous. You can just be crazy with um, Knights of the Blue Light. But don't go crazy leveling at all hard right away. It's, it's not going to work out for you. Healer wise. Or, actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is another thing I want to actually show you as far as um, tank build. I see magic defense up, which puts the mind up. And then I can get barrier on the tank as well. Magic damage inflicted on a single ally, 20% um, as well. So that's also pretty good. Uh, you can make your tank basically buff out if you feel the need to actually do that. That fast barrier isn't that bad. Automatically, Matt activates magic barrier the battle starts it's pretty much a nice passive to have and you can just kind of like mix and match and kind of figure out what you want to do with your individual team how well you want to build your characters now as far as going back to seeking out what you need and this also goes into actually level one fast. So we figure that we are going to, because we're going to do this right now, because I actually need to do this. Because um, I'm, I'm particularly, I want to do, so, I want to make my tank like super tanky, like right, right away, the carry. So we need green chrysolite for the acquire. We need, we know that headlong charge and all the borders where we need to go. It's literally going to take you right to that point. Sometime today. There we go. All right, so headlong charge. Um, so that's literally like the last thing I did right now. And I didn't get the three star on it, which is fine. Now, if you want to level fast in this game, what you should do is you should make sure that your um your arcs that you're using either you don't want to use an arc and go to a lower level area and just keep fighting 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 and getting exp and items that way or you want to take really bootleg level one arcs where it kind of doesn't really matter and your your region region is so much um orbs that you can just do whatever the hell you want to do but if you actually farm and actually go after items then you can go after doing it this way 
All right, so we want to go with, we don't need heals because my healer does a pretty good job. So you see right now, I'm pretty much required souls of 70 for the blue and 25 for the red. I have like plenty up here. And then when I go back out into the world, my, my passive region is enough that I can just, if I want to keep fighting this over and over again, I can. The next thing that you want to do is not be lazy. Especially when you are going through story content, story content don't be lazy there's, there's no reason for it just you know manual your main character pay attention to what you're doing make sure that you build up the characters properly so they can handle their things I'm gonna load here taking a while i have no idea why but it's fine and again i play in landscape i enjoy that If you want to focus on a certain character, what you can do is we can go into options right here. We'll do that. Alright, so say I want to pick a certain character, now I can zone in. It won't just run off by itself. So I'm just gonna go over here. I'm gonna take control a little bit. And I actually did good because I didn't have to worry about him being annoying anymore. I think that's why I didn't three star before. Or maybe I didn't use a skill. But it should be fine. Alright. Uh, what you want to do is much CC stuff as you can. All right, so I actually did um, a speed buff. All right, you know what? Let's do that. All right, he and win came in clutch right there, so we're gonna pop up. Let's do marking. Keep them kind of like stuck. A flash heal. Again, like I said, don't be lazy. Like in the first two waves, it's like whatever. Eternal Serenade is gonna come in clutch soon. All right, they have stuff right there. I'm not worried about breaking right here. I just want the damage on those characters and heal everybody. All right. Get that strength rising on you. Get out of there. Alright, it's over. It was also really helpful to have really good friend characters. Characters or friends who have good characters, rather. Like, not Bobo characters. <laughs> I hate to say it like that. But you know, like really bad characters. Uh, they're like super trash. All right, so apparently somebody died, but we kept them alive this time around. I see you on the bottom right here. Um, I got crystallite fragments. Got red crystallite, which is fine. Bam, got this character up to 16. And remember that this character literally is about your effort more than it is about anything else in this character. This game is literally about your effort. Now, you can go in and do it again if you want to, but that's going to be a no. Because let's say I'm at a point where content's hard. Content really isn't hard for me right now because I'm kind of using the Trinity and controlling it. So the content isn't hard. I can just transfer back and forth between each character and kind of like, because my main character that I'm using can heal with her special and my, my healer does a good job as well. Um, so level one, what I basically do and let's, Let's click that. Bam. Alright, so this is already maxed now. Also, um, in this, make sure that you're leveling this up accordingly. Now you notice right here, in order to level, I need 1200. Um, not gonna do it yet. 
I was just thinking about it. But I'm gonna actually level this one up now in order to level this one up. 450, which makes it another one that makes it level two. I'm gonna level this one up another 450. I have the gold, so why not? So now this is at level two. Higher limit in there. I'm gonna actually level this one up. I need to use a 1200. Man, nah, we're gonna use a 1200. It's whatever. Now this is all right, pretty good. And as far as um, orbs, what I do basically is I try to find the area where I can farm something relevant. So I noticed that I have this, this crystallite right here. And if I can do it fast, then I would head in there and just spam it out. And again, this is, <coughs> excuse me, this is all about effort. There's no um, right or wrong way. Uh, I can't get that when it comes to effort. Also, what I was found is once you reach a certain point, you can come back to hard on special boards. And one of the fastest boards is literally the, um, the first board that you get right here. You can go into the hard mode and go to set and all. And it's really quick. You also, let's go back real quick so I can show you. I'm clicking too fast. Notice that it's items that you can acquire here. And it's not bad on EXP. So what I do is I come in here, sit it right here because I know it's fast. The enemies, even though it's on hard, they don't really do a lot. You can kind of basically leave it on auto too. Okay. Game's taking a while. I do apologize for the black screen. <laughs> it's probably because I've been playing like literally all day. I need to restart this game. Probably what it is. All right, so just leave it on auto. Remember, this is this is hard mode right now. Nice song too. Again, it's fast. And the farming sense, you should probably, if you want to farm a lot easier, get a mage character and level that mage character and just give him like all AoE stuff to just go in there and blow the whole world up. Which <laughs> is pretty cool. I have like I don't know, I have like that one guy who's amazed, I can see that <laughs> that works pretty good. I was going to do that until I got Shin, and then I was like, Shin is so cool that I, I just have to do that. He's just standing over there shooting everybody. Phoenix. So we did get a drop there. See, that didn't take that long at all. Other than I actually need to restart. Probably need to restart my computer too. Being that I've been doing this all day. All right, so remember it costs 70 to actually do it. I gain 51 souls. It cost me 20, 25 red souls. I gained five, so I'm going down by 20, but I'm actually still farming somewhat. As you can see, the EXP, um, the gold. <clears throat> like I said, this is fast. It's not the best gold, but it's just the fast way to do it. If you want to actually go back, let's go. I'll show you a different one. You get about 900 to 1,000 over in this other area so you can also do that but the exp is around the same sadly which is we head down over here as you can see
So again, essentially what it's about is just play. Like literally just play, just keep grinding over and over again. Yeah, you slowly will go down in your orbs, but over the course of time, it, it just it overrides you and you just catch up. Cause you see like, I went down a little bit, but then when I come back over here, I just got 46 back again. And that same amount of time that I just spent all that and just got it like, so you just, you just get it back like right away. Anyway, as long as you have all of your stuff unlocked, which that said is um, try to do your best to move the storyline along and unlock more areas of the map so you have more orbs to actually go along and get. And that makes this whole process even faster. You just level faster. You get all the items you get. You should never struggle to get any items in this game whatsoever. So the last thing that we will talk about before we wrap this up and we get out of here and I'm just going to go straight into grind mode <laughs> after that. Um, summoning. Since it seem, I seem to be having good luck doing it in front of you guys, so I'm just trying to save the summons for in front of you guys. I don't actually have to do this, but I need more arcs. Because uh, I want to you know, level more skills. Alright, yeah, I definitely got to restart. <laughs> I definitely have to restart. No, it's blue. I'm after arcs anyway. Turn that shit red, boy. Turn it red, boy. Okay, we yellow. Turn that shit red, boy. Do it again. Aww. Okay. Red and the ruins, that's new. Okay, file off on that, that's new. Alright, this is gonna be a new one. Grand bargain. Okay, sadly we only got... Okay, that's not that bad. Burning Strike, Ice Javelin, and Thunderbolt. Okay, okay. Not bad to actually have. Um, what does Thunderbolt do? Small area. All of that small area stuff. Single allies recovery speed at 25%. That's not bad right there. Um, Earth Ring keys spat, pass the speed of all magic. This, this isn't a bad thing to level up. But you do that later. Like It has to be like way later. Regenerate. Nice. Grants a small HP regeneration effect to a single ally. I um, already have that on somebody, I believe. HP up. HP up is pretty good. It's a passive. That's a good passive right there. I gotta level this up. I gotta level this up like immediately. Just to get that HP up on my tank. That's a hella good passive. Just a level two. You don't you don't need to go too crazy. Just a level two. Let's see what this does now. MP up. Units HP recovery receive recovery magic by 10%. That's that's nice. Okay, what well, the MP the MP up is 5%. So we gotta put that up. We gotta put that on the um the healer. Like the healer gotta learn this like right away. But we we got some good stuff and we just got a bunch of dupes on the rest of this, which is fine. So yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Uh, like and subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. All links will be in the description. If you have anything that you would like to add to the video, by all means, add it. Nothing wrong with that. Um, these videos are supposed to be like um, a repository to have different information up. So if somebody comes to the video and there's something that they don't know, they can learn it in the video. I have no problems with that. Um, if you know something faster to actually do, put in the comment section below because that helps me it helps everybody and there's nothing wrong with stuff like that so definitely help everybody out and peace